Hello guys, welcome to Africa's Healthy Choices. Once again, my name is Samuel Entry. Always a pleasure to be with you. And uh, today we are going to be talking about proteins. Proteins, proteins, proteins. We love proteins as Africans. So the requirement of protein in a day is about eight ounces. Eight ounces is the size of a plain car, or what we say spa in Ghana. So that size of a car, um, the equivalent of that in meat or any other protein is all you need in a day. Now, now that we are cutting the calories to make sure we are eating the right quantities, when you have your banku or your uh, fufu and your wife has poured a whole bunch of meat on top of it, remember, all we need is 8 ounces. 8 ounces is about this much. This much of uh, protein. This much of protein. That's all we need in a day. Four little pieces, if you fry it or roast it, it, become, it, it even becomes smaller. And that's all you need. Too much protein has been associated with so many issues. But I'll tell you a few things in a bit. So, let's start chicken. Again, the eight ounces of chicken will be the equivalent of two chicken thighs. So, all you need for the day is two. You ate your rice and stew, you had two or three chicken thighs. In the afternoon, you ate some other food, you have like two or three chicken thighs. That is way too much overeating. That is too much overeating. So let's cut it down. Let's cut it down. One drumstick like this is going to give you a good 240 calories. Then that is also between the two of them, we are talking about 480 calories. Now, divide that over a day and you can eat one in the morning or one in the afternoon, one at night. That is fine. Just do not overeat. That is very important. As far as meats are concerned, my recommendations are the white meat. So chicken, turkey, or fish. If I really want to recommend, I recommend fish. Let to me alone, we will eat fish over and over and over and over again. But since we are tired of monotony, I would go up and say mix it up with some chicken or some turkey. And I'll be showing you a few literature very soon. Now, pork is good. Pork comes in about this size, will give you about 230 calories. So, your eight actually about this size. Your eight ounces should actually be just about this size, the size of a playing card or maybe just a little bit more. Divide that up in a day and that's all you need. Not too much protein. We are eating way too much protein. Now, the red meat. Red meat, of all the meat here, the one that I strongly recommend against is the red meat. It has a lot of literature behind it. It has been associated with a lot of cancers and I'm going to show you um, shortly. It's been associated with a lot of heart disease. I'll show you shortly. And it has been associated with decrease in life expectancy. Believe it or not. People who consume a high amount of red meat have an overall shorter lifespan, lifespan than those who don't. And several literature, and you'll be amazed, several literature has demonstrated this. I'll show you literature. Or you can just go to our website, you see all the, the, the evidence out there. So, when it comes to red meat, I ban it. I do not go for red meat at all. Avoid it if you can. Another meat we eat a lot is kotoje or cow feet. Cow feet, the same equivalent, this amount of red meat here, I said, um, red beef here, I said gives us 300 calories. If this same amount was cow feet or kotoje, which Caribbeans also eat a lot, we are talking about 440 calories. Why? Because it is all fat. And that fat doubles the calories. It gives you all these triglycerides, brings you heart disease, brings you strokes, I do not know why we eat, keep eating them. Let's be very careful, avoid them if you can. Another thing we have to avoid are processed meat. Um, sausages, salami, all of that. I mean, there's something going on. These things are processed with sodium nitrite. Any processed meat, so all of these things, including smoked meat, 
And in those who have the DVD, you've already seen my 10 cancer causing foods we are eating right now. Sodium nitrite is one of them. Sodium nitrate has been associated with a lot of esophageal and gastric cancers. And if you go to Japan, it is a very common finding that it is one of the things that is killing them out there. Now, this kind of meat has a lot of sodium nitrite, the same as smoked turkey, which we love very much for our soups. But smoked turkey, do me a favor, the next time you buy your smoked turkey, flip it around and it's going to say sodium nitrite in the nutrient. Be very careful, be very careful. Avoid red meat, avoid processed meat. Now, goat is good, uh, it's also similar to red meat, the same amount of calories. That means two, this, this even is big. This is a big chunk with a little bit more, a little bit more, even that is big. For the whole day, it's 200, all you need is about this and a little bit more for the whole day. So why are we eating goat like it is manna? It is not manna. These things, when you overeat, they come in with problems. It has a lot of triglyceride. It has a strong flavor. People love it, but you eat it at a cost. This one here, we all love our shrimps very much. But shrimp, this amount of shrimp gives you 80% of your daily cholesterol. 80%, this amount, this is, and I counted it. If you have the case, next time you buy shrimp, just flip it and it'll tell you the nutrient. We've counted 12 shrimps, which is about this much, which you easily eat in your fried rice, and that alone gives you 80% of your cholesterol need. That is too, way too much. So again, moderation. Just eat a little bit of the shrimp, and call it a day, not eating shrimp like it is the best thing on earth. All right, I'm, I'm not speaking about fish, I'm coming to fishes here. Titus is good, I'll talk about this. Um, Exeter, one kind of Exeter gives you about 720 calories. People eat Exeter like it is good food. Too much salt. These are plant sources of proteins, this with beans. I love flaxseed because it gives us a lot of omega-3 from plant. Omega-3 from flaxseed. Flaxseed, again, as a tip, you can add it to your smoothies. We've talked about smoothies in the fruits and vegetables segment. So you can add a tablespoon of flaxseed. It gives you a little bit more calories, but the nutrients are amazing. It is the, one of the few plant sources of omega-3. Now, omega-3 is the million dollar fat or oil that is needed to protect your brain from stroke and your heart from heart attack. And I'll talk about it in the first segment. So we need it very much. Walnuts are also a good source of protein. Walnut, a few walnuts, just about one quarter of a cup, gives you about 180 calories, that's a little too much. But hey, of all the nuts, this is one that has a lot of antioxidants. It protects you from cancers, protects you from heart disease. Get walnuts, replace walnut with your regular peanut, and you'll be in good shape. When it comes to proteins, the rock star, rock star or the million dollar protein are the fishes. But wait, it is not every kind of fish. We are talking about the oily fishes. Oily fishes, which are salmon, herring, sardine or mackerel. Salmon, herring, sardine or mackerel. This is salmon. It's an oily fish. Herring is amane in Ghana. Amane is what we really don't really like, but amane is a really good type of fish. The reason why it is good, because it gives you clean omega-3. Omega-3, again, is what we call an essential fatty acid. An essential fatty acid means your body cannot make it. It doesn't have it, but it needs it. So you have to supply it. To do that, you can eat, get it from some of the oils, but then the best sources are fishes. And here I have salmon. So, the point is then which fish? Because I also have, here I have tilapia. Tilapia is very good, but tilapia is not a fatty fish. And Africans love tilapia. But salmon is actually a very good option. It's more expensive, but hey, it protects you from diseases. When it comes to the salmon, not all salmons are created equal. Look for wild catch salmon. So 
don't just go and buy the salmon because we want salmon. Make sure it is wild caught or wild catch. That means it was coming straight from the ocean. If it is farm, it comes with too much mercury. Mercury causes a lot of neurological conditions. All these brain issues, they're all dementias, the Parkinson's, all of them have been related, associated with mercury. So I advise against farmed fish, especially farmed farm salmon. Get wild catch. If it doesn't say wild catch, it would say Alaska. If it is Alaskan, it is wild. If, it is, if it's Alaskan, it is a wild catch. It can also say Pacific. Pacific. So Pacific at Alaskan or wild catch. If it says farmed or Atlantic, that is not good. Avoid it and it's going to save you a lot of mercury. Pregnant women have actually been advised not to eat these salmon because it actually accumulated the fetuses, which gives them neurological problems. So if you're pregnant and you are not sure of where the salmon is coming from, just don't eat it. But if you're not pregnant, make sure you are getting it wild catch and you're good. Get the salmon, you can get the sardine, get mackerel, put it in the bean stew, put it in the spinach stew, and you have an excellent uh, food with vegetables and also fish. Eggs are very good. They come with a lot of nutrients, a lot of all these fats here and there. It's all very good. Remember, one egg is 90 cal one large egg is an egg is 90 calories. The yolk alone is 70 calories. So when you are eating the egg, a lot of Ghanaians they call something chibom, that means multiple eggs. They take four eggs and chibom it or they fry it all together. That is not, that is not acceptable. So what I say is the yolk gives you 70 calories. Now you said 70 calories is nothing. I agree with you. 70 calories is not that much. But guess what? It contains 298 milligrams, 290 milligrams of cholesterol. Your total daily need for cholesterol is 300. The egg alone contains about 280 to 290, depending on the size. So my advice again is avoid the yolk or use half of the yolk. Never use the whole yolk because whole yolk gives you, the minute you are done eating that whole yolk, your daily need of cholesterol is done. By the time you get some of these red meat and other things, your cholesterol is up about 600 milligrams, which is 200%. And you wonder why we have so many big conditions in our society. It's all because of the stuff we are eating. So eggs, I always want to use the egg whites, 15 calories. You can put four egg whites in there with half a yolk. The calories is not bad, your cholesterol is slashed in half. Meat intake and mortality. They compared all the people who are taking meat and they found that meat and processed meat, processed meat. So red meat, it says red meat and processed meat were associated with moderate increases in total mortality, cancer mortality and cardiovascular diseases. So this is a very good paper actually that was published in the Archives of Internal Medicine and it's saying that red meat and processed meat have actually been associated, statistically associated with cancer death, cardiovascular death and then all-cause mortality. On the other hand, fish. Fish has been shown, the omega-3 in fish has been shown to be cardioprotective. How? It, it decreases the bad cholesterol, increases the good cholesterol. It prevents clots from forming, the clots that forms in the arteries around the heart that gives you heart disease, it prevents them from forming. Again, it, it stabilizes the clots that have already formed. Because what happens is the clot that is formed becomes unstable and all of a sudden the artery becomes occluded or completely black and then you have a heart attack. What omega-3 does, it stabilizes the clot that has already formed. So even if you've lived a bad life, if you start eating fish, good fish, your clot burden comes down and the its ability to rupture and cause a heart attack comes down. And again, it moderates the rhythm of the heart. So we say it is rhythm protected. It protects the rhythm. The rhythm of your heart is the electricity. Your heart runs on its own electricity. Omega-3 gives you a good rhythm so you don't go into things like atrial fibrillation, which is causing a lot of strokes in that community right now. So go for Omega-3. This paper is saying all that I just said. This fish here is about 200. My salmon is about 200. Um, 
200 milligrams. So all we need is about 100 of it four times a day. And it actually says for every 100 milligram that you go up in a week, you are adding an extra 5% protection for cardiovascular death. That is serious protection. So the more fish you eat, the more protection you get. This paper is from the American Journal of Medicine. So here you have it guys, you know it, you know better, so I'm sure you can do better. I've gone through all the proteins, the, the white proteins are better, avoid red proteins, avoid processed proteins, avoid too much yolk because of cholesterol, go for fish, go for salmon, go for herring, go for mackerel, make sure it is wild catch salmon, they're a little expensive but it's worth it at the end of the day, goat is good but it's the same caliber as red meat, be very careful. Shrimps are good, too much cholesterol. This collection of shrimp here is 80% of cholesterol. Your nuts are good. Your plant source of omega-3 is a flax seed. Add it to your um, smoothie or anything that you are eating and it's going to give you a good supply of omega-3. Once again, thank you very much for watching Africa's Healthy Choices. I hope you are applying the knowledge you are learning in your everyday living. But more importantly, I want you to sell the story. So if you learn something here, be an ambassador. You see, we are trying to form a community of healthy livers. So be an ambassador. Go out there and tell people, no, you cannot eat that sausage. No, you cannot eat that uh, extra, um, extra chicken or extra fish. The well, fish is even good. Or extra pork or whatever people are eating. Tell them that they need to cut it down, cut the sizes, and be a good ambassador. Like us here on Facebook or anywhere you find us, go to YouTube, subscribe, check us out at our website and uh, actually you can purchase the entire DVD set, the, everything we've talked about from the beginning at our website, give it out as a gift, excellent source of uh, information for everyone who is trying to live healthy. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.